It's a, it's a pleasure to join uh, in on the debate this evening. And um, before I get into the material that I had intended to speak about, uh, I'd, I'd like to just reflect on the example that the Minister used uh, of the stabbing that occurred in, in Palmerston North recently uh, and, and some of the response that we've had from within the community to that. Yes, people were appalled that, um, that a child uh, could be involved in, in such a crime. Uh, but the community response has not been to lock them up and throw away the key or to send them off to boot camp or anything like that. The community response has been, how can we do something which is effective, which actually uh, does something positive for the victim and does something positive for the, for the child that was involved? And how can we ensure uh, that this won't happen again and that this young person won't uh, continue down the path that they appear to be on at the moment. And in fact, this has become uh, so uh, important to people in Palmerston North that uh, a local gentleman who uh, is not known f for his left-leaning tendencies by any stretch of the imagination, but is, but is quite well known in the community, has um, asked me to help him call a public meeting uh, to discuss the direction this government is going in on, on justice and sentencing and to discuss his concerns that it, the government seems to be focused on, on harsher and longer prison terms and knee-jerk reactions that feel good in the short term but actually do nothing for him, who is, and, and he has recently been a victim of a high-profile crime, do nothing for victims and do nothing to assist uh, the community and to protect the community by getting um, offenders back on track and uh, particularly young offenders and to perhaps prevent uh, a life of crime further down the track. But actually the reason I, I took this call this evening, uh, Mr Chair, was to discuss uh, some of the issues around alcohol and drug treatment and particularly the submission made by the Alcohol and Drug uh, Association New Zealand. And they state in their submission to the Select Committee, it is our considered opinion that the orders contained within the expanded orders are too prescriptive, are not based on overseas and New Zealand research, or on the 20 plus years of experience of the addiction treatment sector in New Zealand in working with disadvantaged young people with both criminal offending and addiction related issues. And this is, I suppose, what the key uh, problem here is, that the government just doesn't appear to be listening uh, to solid research, uh, to anything that makes sense. They're more interested in simply uh, appearing to do something and, and having knee-jerk uh, reactions such as, as boot camps uh, and the like. But there is a, there is a place in, uh, in the justice system for the health sector and there is a lot of good that, that the uh, health sector can do uh, for reducing crime. In fact, what the research does tell us is that there is a between four and seven dollar reduction in the cost of drug related crime for every dollar spent on addiction treatment. Uh, and it is that kind of focus on, on treatment and is that sort of thing that the Law Commission was getting at recently uh, when they issued their issues paper around the Misuse of Drugs Act, which sadly uh, the Justice Minister and the government seems to have written off out of hand and doesn't want to listen uh, to what the public has to say about where we might go on drug-related crime and how we might deal with those things. But this is certainly a key issue uh, for young people. And uh, the, the uh, Alcohol and Drug Association of New Zealand really highlighted the fact that without a greater focus on workforce development, uh, without a greater focus on residential programs, on multi-systemic programs uh, that deal with the complex needs of, of uh, young offenders, that we cannot actually, uh, we, 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 there would just be nothing um, to change behaviours and to protect the community through changing behaviour. Uh, and, and frankly, uh, sending them off to boot camp just isn't the answer. It just isn't the answer because these are complex issues. There is no simple answer. And sadly, this piece of legislation, like a lot of what the government is doing, seems to be looking for the simple answer that will grab a headline, that will seem like it's, it's responding to what the community wants, but in fact actually does not deal with the complex needs uh, and, and, uh, of, of young people. And in dealing with 
uh, uh, alcohol and drug issues. Uh, that, is, that is what is required. And, and there just simply is not the capacity, Mr Chair. Mr Chair. I call Tim McIndoe. Thank you, Mr Chair. Uh, I just want to point out to the member who's just resumed his seat 